Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Austin. Just wanted to say thank you for choosing us and putting your trust in us to buy a viral PC. We understand that you could probably uh, pick uh, many other builders, but we just want to really uh, say thank you for trusting us and building uh, your next PC um, and choosing viral. We're going to get into the unboxing and kind of go over a few little quick tips on the setup process. And of course, if you have any questions whatsoever, give us a call here at the shop or hop into our Discord to, uh, to narrow down any of your tech questions. But for now, we're gonna get into the unboxing and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. So it'll come double box. You're gonna take out the first box from the second box, pretty self-explanatory. We did our cooking show magic, already pre-opened the box. And you're just going to lay it on its side here. So right off the bat, you're gonna have all of your extra cords. We will get into exactly what all of these will do. You will only need one or two of these to start. The rest will be extra. So we're gonna set these aside for now. You do have some paper instructions as well if you're more of a reader um, or if you wanna follow along with the paper instructions. You got uh, before boot up, unpacking, that sort of thing all the way through the software requirements. So we will follow that. And then uh, the best way is to tip her on her side. You kind of see her in there and then we're just gonna pull it straight out. Easier with two people. There we are. Foam off the top. Foam off the bottom. All right, so we got a little bit of glare going on, but you can see inside she is packed tightly. We have foam underneath of the GPU, the graphics card, and we have some other filler in there just to keep everything nice and tight during shipping. To take off the top lid, you have two thumb screws on the back of the computer. So you're just gonna unscrew these, slide the top off just like that. So you're gonna pull back and lift up, set that aside. And then the glass simply slides straight up and then off. And this is step number one. You gotta get all of this material out before you turn it on. And then the same thing with the front glass. Slide it up and off. All right, so we'll just uh, carefully unpack everything. Uh, your packing may look a little different based off the PC you get. These unboxing instructions will work for the O11 XL, O11, and the O11 Mini. So they're all super similar in how we pack them. Um, we have some foam that supports the graphics card on both the top and the bottom. We'll just carefully remove that. Your graphics card, if you got the vertical mount option, you will have some foam back behind the graphics card underneath all around to support it as well. Um, so just wanna make sure we clear out all of the packing. If you did get the screen option, sometimes the screen might become dislodged during shipping. Um, I'll show you what that looks like. These are just simply um, fitted in there. If you have any questions on how to reinstall this, you can give us a call or refer back to one of our other YouTube videos where we do the installation of this. But it just wedged itself in there, super easy. Now that it's all unpacked, we'll just make sure, we'll just do a quick little glance over, make sure all of the connections, um, nothing seems obviously loose or, or dangling. Um, as long as every cord has its home, you should be good to go. Um, and then we'll just get a double confirmation that the graphics card is still seated just by pushing it against the motherboard um, just to confirm that. So once we get done with that, we will re reinstall the glass here. So just like it went on, you're gonna start at the top, line it up, and then just slide it down. Same thing, slide it, slide it down, get your top, get your top on. Slide it forward and just tighten your thumb screws. So a couple things to go over. So you have your power button on the front. The bottom button is reset. You have two standard USB ports. Depending on your motherboard, um, you might have a USB-C slot. You have your headphone in and out. And then these two buttons at the bottom are how you change the RGB strip that's built into the case if you have the XL version. You also have USBs along the bottom as well. All right, so around the back, so we'll get into the cords here. One of the cords that it came with is gonna be your standard power cord. Simply plug it in the back. There we go. And then along the back here, if you've owned a computer before, this might be redundant to you, but if you've never, we'll just go over a few things on the back. 
So this bottom part is your graphics card. All of your display will go into there, whether that's display port, which is preferred, or HDMI will go into there. Do not use the display port or the HDMI on the motherboard. Use the graphics card. If you plug it in in the motherboard, you will not get a display on the screen. Um, you also have all of your audio inputs on your motherboard, more USBs, and of course your ethernet for internet. Um, pretty easy. The biggest call we get is I have no display, and nine out of 10 times is you're plugged into the motherboard. So just make sure you're plugging all displays into the graphics card. Um, also around back, so you have two hard drive bays on the O11XL. The regular only has one hard drive bay. Inside the hard drive bay, if you've got the, the Leon Lee, extend, uh, Leon Lee uh, cable extension option, the light up cables in there, that's where the controller will be housed. So you will have your Leon Lee controller back here. It'll be double-sided taped inside of one of the drive bays. That'll have your buttons on it. So you simply just reach in, push the buttons to change the colors or the modes on there. That's also where your HDMI will be housed if you have any of the screen options. It'll be tucked up in there. So we're gonna pull this out and just let it dangle for now. Um, and then we'll plug it in in a bit. So um, that's the bottom port if you have an XL. The top port, the top bay, I should say, your top bay will have, this will be your hard drive bay. So there's a little slider on the bottom for lock and unlock. So just pull it towards you. And this is where if you have a uh, uh, hard drive upgrade option, either a one terabyte, two terabyte, four terabyte, whatever, your hard drive will be mounted to this and you can simply throw it in there and click it in. And you have two of those. If you, if you did not get that option, you can always upgrade down the road. If you need help upgrading down the road, give us a call, we'd be happy to help. But um, you can see back in there, the Leon Lees are super nice. Um, they have the power and the SATA port built into the bay, so you do not have to run any wires or anything. So just install your hard drive on there and it will click right into place and connect to the motherboard. Super nice, fancy. And then, just lock it back. All of our PCs come with come standard with uh, M.2 SSDs, which are of course installed onto the motherboard, so that's why those drive bays are empty. Um, so that is a little overview and an unboxing. Now we're gonna throw it over to the computer. We're gonna show you how to connect it to your displays, turn it on, and what that setup process is like. It's very minimal on the setup process because we install everything for you. We install all of your RGB software, we install all of your GPU drivers, Windows updates. When you get it, it is ready to go, but we're gonna show you kind of what software is installed and what controls what. Let's go to the computer. All right, so we are at the computer. We got it plugged up. As you can tell, we did a little facelift on it before uh, we got it over to the computer but uh, we install all the same software on every single computer that goes out of here. Um, so it'll be very similar to yours. Um, if you have the Leon Lee fans, uh, which are in this computer, the Leon Lee SLs or the AL120s, um, you're gonna be using L Connect to change those colors, fan speeds, that sort of thing there. Uh, we have IQ installed on here, which will change if you have Corsair uh, fans, either LLs or QL120s, or if you have Corsair RAM, um, or if you have any Corsair peripherals, like a Corsair mouse or keyboard or that sort of thing, you can change all of that within IQ. Uh, GeForce Experience is on there for your gameplays, DLSS, if you wanna run that. Um, we already installed all of your drivers, so you're good to go there. Um, and then we install Chrome and Firefox um, as a browser because everyone hates Edge, uh, that's universal. So we put another uh, web browser on there for you as well. Um, all of the Windows updates are already up to date. Um, so really, you're good to go. Just hop in there, tweak your fan speeds at the way you like it. We like to keep ours at uh, 1,100 and uh, 1,020 roughly. This one's turned up a little bit because we were doing some gameplay, but just for general um, uh, general computing, uh, 1,020 is a great fan speed that will keep it super quiet and plenty cool, especially if you have the nine fan option. Um, it'll be plenty cool and you won't hear it whatsoever. They're super nice. Um, and then, so this is how you change all of your fan colors. If you want a detailed overview of the SL or the uh, Leon Lee software to change your controllers, check into one of our other videos. We go over this software pretty in depth. Um, but so just a really quick cat crash course for you. Um, we change all of ours to white most of the time. Um, so we just do static color. We will choose, uh, you know, white 
and we will just apply it to all. And it'll apply white to every single fan and it'll change every single fan to 1,020 RPM. Um, so that's that, you can, you can save different profiles. Um, they're static, rainbow. You can go crazy with, uh, with the look and the aesthetic that you have. So um, that's that, super easy on the setup thing. And I just blew that up, super easy on the setup. Uh, there's really not much to do other than uh, download your favorite launchers, whether that's Steam, Epic, um, you know, Riot, any of your game launchers, install that, sign into all your stuff, and you're good to go. Um, as far as what it looks like down the road, you're going to want to take your computer, just like we unpacked it, you're going to want to take the glass off, take the top off, and blow it out about once a month just to keep uh, the dust away. Dust will build up on some of the fans and things, and that'll make your computer run more hot. Um, so you just want to blow off all that dust about once a month um, as needed. Uh, if you have the NZXT option, I almost forgot, you'll have an NZXT cam software. That's where you change all of your GIFs, logos, if you want to display temperatures. Um, and while we're on the topic of temperatures, a lot of people get really temperature focused. Um, so just a good range to keep is if your CPU temperature is anywhere from 35 to 60 roughly, um, that's degrees Celsius on your CPU. Um, that'll be good, not on the liquid, but the actual CPU temperature. And then the GPU temperature, you can have that go all the way up to 75 or so while gaming and under load uh, to be in the safe range still. Um, so don't worry about your temperatures. These are set up good. Keep an eye on them, um, but uh, don't get too hyper-focused on them. So um, that is a very quick overview of the software, uh, the unboxing and everything. We are super proud to have you a part of the viral family. So we hope that was helpful. Once again, if you have any questions whatsoever, please give us a call or hop into the Discord where your questions will be answered by one of our 2,000 Discord member communities, whether that be tech support, keyboard support, monitor support, whatsoever. We have a great and growing Discord community. We can't wait for you to be a part of it. And as you uh, get a more feel for your computer, uh, you might download some games and want to try some games out with different people. Our Discord is actually another great place that you can find partners to play with, uh, games you've never played. Um, as well as just kind of uh, immerse yourself in our great community. Once again, we really, really appreciate your business, and thank you for choosing Viral. Thank you. We'll talk to you soon.